Tony and Macy here and we're still picking on that hinge pattern, making sure that we're getting the most out of the movement that you're doing here in our facility. Uh, and again, once again, that hinge pattern, that's a big one. So uh, looking at uh, progression before we get to any monster deadlifts, and, and that, those are good things, we'll get there. Uh, but again, trying to set up that nice, good, uh, standard and, and solid hinge pattern. So the way we're gonna do that is what we call a heel touch deadlift using a kettlebell. So what we're gonna do first and foremost is we're gonna line our feet up towards that, or we're gonna wrap our feet right around that kettlebell so the kettlebell's in line with our heels. Now, again, thinking about what we looked at last time in our front loaded hinge position, or good morning, think about that same motion. Our butt's going back and reach down and grab the bell. Go ahead and get down in that position for me. All right, give me a double chin, so looking at that logo, good. All right, so this is a good starting start up right here. Now, you'll see that our kettlebell is right there with our heels. Now, go ahead and stand up like you would in a deadlift. She's gonna reach right back towards those heels. Go ahead and take it back. Bam, just like that. Every time coming back to that same motion or that same position. Come on back up and then take it back down. Good, so yeah. go ahead and stand up. Thanks, Macy. So if we're not there for those big barbell deadlifts, and we'll get you there, we wanna start right here, right? That's what's gonna set up the hips where they need to be, where the spine needs to be. As you can see, I adjusted her, her, her gaze a little bit, got her spine back in neutral. That's where we, need to, where we need to start. The basics are important, right? 10 to 15 reps, bang these out, then we'll get you started for, and get you ready for those big deadlifts.